Welcome boy Artakis here and we are back with Soulstorm Strongholds mod. So some of you might recall that I already did a how to install on this uh, mod and also several videos showing off uh, some of the gameplay and stuff that this mod has to offer. But recently I um, came back to this mod and was pleasantly surprised to see that it was updated to version 1.4.0. And as you can see here, April 20, uh, 23, 2015. So I decided why not uh, do a, another video on how to install it. And also I would like to show you the changes and like read you the uh, change log for this mod while, install, uh, while installing. So you can already like uh, pause the video, go into the description and uh, start downloading because the biggest problem for this uh, like the biggest uh, problem while installing this uh, mod is that you have to install a heck of a lot of other mods before installing the this uh, actual mod if that makes any sense darn it anyway so um yeah i'm going of course to leave uh, links in the description where you can download all of these mods because you will need all of them to play uh, the soulstorm stronghold mod or at least that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put them all so yeah except except the witch hunters uh, mod due to the fact that uh, uh, it's untested so i'm going to um leave that because i don't want to you know make stuff complicated so anyway and also before you even start man i should have started with that you must have uh, the latest version of down of our soulstorm so with patch 1.2 or have uh, and if or if you have the steam version don't worry you are all set just install soulstorm and then start downloading the those mods so I already did that and I made here several folders and as you can see here is my main mod which you can get by coming uh, on this main page and clicking on Soulstone Strongholds and it will open this, one, this over here and uh, download now. So basically this is the mod and I also unrolled it just so it will be a lot faster. And then I have here a folder called uh, one. Yeah, because you want to do this first, okay? And here I have all the other mods that uh, I, uh, that you need to install before installing the uh, this mod. So uh, let's take it uh, one step at a time. So the first mod that I want to install here is Black Templars. But anyways, um, uh, it, I like I won't take like show you each install like separate install it's, it's kind of easy you have I guess two types of installers over here you have the exe ones like over here the dark angels the salamanders the steel legion the dance macabre tyrannids so you just click on the exe and it, uh, then you show the main directory of soulstone where you have it installed and le uh, let it uh, install and also here the black templars but for the black templars you need to have the dawn of skirmish uh, version 3.20 ss ai mod because uh, it requires it to function and i'm not sure if it uh, if it's needed for this uh, soulstorm stronghold mod but to m be sure just install that as well and the other type of installer is the those uh, vinral thingies that i already uh, unrolled them so as you can see the demons mod uh, i guess this is the inquisition demon hunt the rage Renegade Guard and Space Wolf and you just have to unroll them as you can see over here for example and you take this uh, those two files you always should have like a module file and the folder and then copy and paste them in your in your uh, Dawn of War Soulstorm main directory as you can see here but anyways I'm just going to install this first so Oh, I hope there is no sound, so please, no sound, I don't want to hear sound, there is no music, is it, is, I'm going to pause the video, video if uh, there is, Damn it. 
Okay. Yeah, I kind of had to pause the video for a second because there is uh, uh, music in the installer and uh, copyright is not something that I really want to infringe. So it's just a normal setup. You accept agreement, so on. Yes. And uh, yeah, I also have it on Steam, but that's not what I, where I want it to be installed. I do want to have it installed in my CD version of Soulstorm. So basically, make sure you... Um, okay, and make sure there is no double files like here. Do you see? So it should only be... Um, like uh, just one Dawn of War, like shouldn't be Dawn of War, Soulstorm, Dawn of War, Soulstorm. Okay, so basically this is my main directory and make sure, like if you make a mistake over here, it won't work. So that's why I uh, strongly suggest that you make sure that you install correctly. And also after you installed, uh, yes, after you installed, you might want to check. And uh, no, I don't need those things. And you check... Uh, Check to see if it's correctly installed by going to your uh, Dawn of War Soulstorm folder. And then you should have, um, here is the objective uh, module. So let's just wait till this installs so that I, sh I can show you how to verify that the mod is correctly installed. Without even entering uh, Dawn of War Soulstorm. Well, it's not 100% sure that the mod is correctly installed, but it shouldn't have any problems. Okay. Done. Man, I should really upgrade my computer. Like, it's an 8-year-old computer and <laughs> uh, goes really fast. What can I say? Oh, boy. And don't worry, after this installer, I'm going immediately to the change log so that you can know what has been added and updated. And I saw there are several cool uh, additions to the mod. So, yeah. Okay, there we go. So, it's basically installed. And in the meantime, I'm also going to put the other one, the Dawn of Skirmish. So, yes, I agree. Yet again, it found the uh, Soulstorm because I have several Dawn of Wars installed on my PC. There we go. So, yeah, this is the main directory. Okay, there we go. Check the destination folder. And don't, uh, like, if you don't want to have extended camera hero, like, those are optional. So, you can... Uh, leave them or uh, remove the que uh, the check mark. Okay, so and it's not a big deal. There we go. It was really fast. So basically, the Black Templars mod is or it's installed right now, and you can check this by. Let's see. Um, there we go. So BT mod module. You should have this file, and also there should be a folder called. BT mod, there we go. So basically, uh, I guess the mod is installed. So let's just continue. I'm going to put the like uh, cut and paste it inside, it, like the demons mod, the Inquisition demon hunt. In Inquisition demon hunt, I would suggest you. Uh, I don't know which one is. Uh, like I wouldn't uh, copy the objective points. I will only uh, copy the Inquisition Demon Hunt thingy as a module because I'm not sure. Maybe it's an older version than the like the Black Templars mod, as you can see here, already installed an objective point SS module. But just to make sure, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can get the latest version of object mo uh, point SS mo uh, module. So you will just copy that thing at the end. So once you install everything, then copy the object point SS module. 
So we did uh, the demons. Let's do the. Oh, we also did the Inquisition demon hunt. Uh, let's go for the rage thingy. Pace. There we go. This goes quite fast. Well, the uh, cut and pace thingy, of course. Space wolves. Perfect. Oops. So now I'm going to yet again pause the video just so that I can entering this installer because Jones likes his music, darn it. So be right back. Or maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. Or is it this some kind of a trick? Like I'm pressing next and then the actual installer will start. So uh, yes, you just... Uh, and yet again select uh, usually it will automatically select the right right folder but uh, for me as i said i have different folders where i want to install the mods so yeah that's why i'm constantly changing but in general it should automatically find your dawn of war soulstorm uh, folder so relax in a way and now i'm a bit scared if i'm going to press start oh no no music Ha, huh, that's good. I'm glad. So, so while this is installing, let's look at the the change log. So, in, uh, in we have a general tab over here. So, added survival, a new optional win condition which requires the player to keep their commander alive for the entire mission. Oh yes, yeah. so basically this will be awesome. Like you cannot lose your commando. And then added restricted tiering. A new optional win condition which requires the player to move out and capture strategic points in order to tear up. Oh man, this is going to be so cool. Like um, when I'm going to do my videos on this mod, I'm definitely going to select restricted tiering because you know you start with uh, your basic units and go and capture and then you progressively get stronger the player's commander will begin mission with additional squad members where these are available incubate bodyguards for the dark elder archon for example adjusted the annihilate defeat condition for all races to more closely affect the normal an Irish skirmish win condition. Okay, so basically those were the general changes in version 1.40. So let's go on to the Dark Elder. So we have race changes. So for the Dark Elders, we have fixed textures for the CPU control, Dark Elder Archon, and strategic point flag. Okay, Dark Angels. Slightly change the starting squad for the Dark Angels, including the ones that can be liberated from the Dark Eldar cages on Lacuna. Okay, uh, I guess I'll have to test those things. Okay, added a new mission, Pavonis, based on the Dark Crusade campaign mission and recoded it, recoded it from scratch. Uses adjustable difficulty setting, selectable from the mission setup screen, rated from easy to insane. Fight against five randomized opponents for possession of the servitor that will grant you control of the Pavone spaceport. Okay, so we have a new map with uh, uh, a lot of cool stuff on it. Then we have the Ares Badlands, and before we continue, uh, let's go on a bit with the install. So we uh, did the Dark Angels. Let's uh, install the Salamanders now. Oh, and I'm afraid this one will have music. Like <laughs> I don't know which one has music. Okay. Do you have music? Yes. Well, yeah, I was correct. This one had music as well. No. Anyway, so next, I accept. Next. Yet again. And my folder, main folder, and make sure it's it's not uh, like uh, double over here. Like don't force awesome, don't force awesome. Okay. 
so basically everything seems fine and gen just uh, yes and do not create star uh, well usually if you want but for me it's not like and i do not need any desktop i uh, icon so install okay so let's see uh where uh, where were we there we go so the air is badlands added a new mission the air is badlands so we have two new maps hopefully there are more <laughs> than two new maps the air is badlands based on the dark crusade campaign mission and recorded from scratch uses adjustable difficulty settings so uh, just as before Fight against three randomized opponents in a free-for-all battle to spill as much blood as possible and gain the power of the demon corn. It wasn't that a god, like a chaos god, corn? So wouldn't that be an insult to him? Oh boy. Uh, is uh, yes, it's already installed, finished. Okay, so where is my other? Okay, so we installed the salamander. We installed all of these things. Steel Legion. So I am kind of hoping that this one doesn't have music. No, it doesn't. Yes, I'm glad. Okay, next. Yet again. Like it doesn't take that much time, you only have to kind of uh, download a lot, a lot of files and make sure you install them correctly. Okay, start. So yeah, um, the Demo Demos Peninsula. Hopefully, well that's very optimistic, fix the potential fatal scar uh, error that occurred during the opening cutscene. Oh, and yeah, let me... Oh, okay, it's recording. <laughs> I thought for a second that it was on pause. Tyria. Fix the giant webway gate FX so that each is correctly linked with its corresponding critical location. Victory Bay. So we have changes to the mission that were already in the mod. So Victory Bay. Move the bottom to fire the Titan cannon from the thermoplasma generator to the top left of the UI for convenience. Rebalance some aspects of the mission to make them slightly less punishing, particularly at, a, uh, at lower difficulty levels. Remove the strategic point from the rear of the player's base. Okay. Oh, Steel Legion mod is already installed. Let's exit then. Um, and we have only two more mods to install uh, aside from the main one. So let's see, is this one having music? Are you having music? Oh, okay, so this one is just like a Vinrar, no problemo. And all of these are saved, so you shouldn't have any problems like uh, I guess most people have problems with the Steel Legions because it finds like a malicious software and it's not, I'm, I assure you, it's not malicious. Okay, um, Harlequins and let's install them of course in the main Dono 4 directory, extract. Yeah, there we go, this is going to... Okay, I should speed up, darn it. I thought the it, it installer would take a lot more time. The Tour Abyss Catacombs. Restore the adjustable difficulty settings. Selectable, of course, from the... Yes. Move the plan bomb button from the commander's ability menu to the top left of the UI to prevent clashes with other icons. Added a UI icon and improved model for the Necron Beacon from the Ultimate Apocalypse mod. Added two new Necrons beacons and improved the functionality of some of the existing ones. Randomize the location of each Necron beacon, but not the monolith graveyard. Added a new mission dialogue. The mid-mission casting will now only play once you have advanced further into the catacombs rather than being quickly triggered by a timer during the opening rush. General rebalancing of the mission with an overall increase in difficulty and enemy aggressiveness, especially during the final escape run. All races now use the appropriate bomb model. 
Okay, the green coast. Remove the strategic points from the rear of the player's base and the two adjustable outside it to uh, the northeast and southeast. And yeah, it's still installing. Okay. Uh, North Vandia. Move the central strategic point. So basically, there are. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm, I said I'm going to read them because those are like changes in the. Move the central uh, strategic point in the player's base to the location further away to the northwest. Or or else Tash, no, darn those names. Move the central. Okay, uh, you don't pop. Uh, or uh, yeah, I said that. Move the central strategic point in the player's base to a location further away to the north. Mannheim Bay. Remove the strategic points from the rear of the player's base. Lucane. Remove the strategic point from the southeast end of the player's base. Coastal Imosa. Move the northeast strategic point from the player's base to a position further away along the path to the north. Fix a fatal scar error that occurred after destroying all four monoliths. The Rock Law Mountains. Remove the middle strategic point from the player's base. The Sama District. Move the strategic point from the western end of the player's base to the enemy base, uh, base a short distance to the northwest. Nan Yan Noi. Fix the fa fatal scar error that occurred at the end of the closing cutscenes. So basically, we got a lot of improvements to map that already are in, uh, in balancing things in the game, and also we got uh, new maps and new modes uh, on how to play the missions. And yeah, yes, to all, of course. Okay, and the last one is the Tyranid mod. Okay, I hope this doesn't have sounds or yeah, no sounds. Good. Okay, check the. Let's uh, choose the Dawn of War Solar Storm thingy. There we go. And yes, start. So after we have installed all this, uh, all those mods, I would suggest you do a simple thing of checking if everything is installed correctly by going to. Okay, it's done. By going to your Dawn of War Soulstorm main folder and let's check each mod at a time. So basically, the Black Templar. Do we have the module? Yes, we do. Chaos Demons. Let's oh. Ouch, darn it. Um, chaos Demons, where are you? Why is it? Why is there no. Oh, is there a shortcut? But, anyways, so we have. Oh, yeah, Demons, there we go. Yes, Chaos Demons, Dark Angels, Harlequins. Harlequins, where are you? Harlequins. Oh, come on, they usually don't use... Okay, we have the Tyranids, we have the... Yeah, the Dance Macabre, so those are the Harlequins, the Steel Legion, the Space Wolves, the Salamanders, the Renegade Guard, the Rage module, so Inquisition Demon Hunt. Yeah, so... In, uh, yes, we... I guess we have all this... Uh, yes, mods, so... Check uh, um, your installer as well to see if you have all those files. And if you don't, then reinstall the mod that's missing, of course. So once you made sure that you installed all the, those mods correctly, go to your uh, where you downloaded the Stronghold Mission SS version 1. Point, uh, or underscore whatever 4 underscore 0, unrar it. 
like so like I did here and then just cut or copy and paste it in your Dono4 Soulstorm main directory like so so uh, basically now the mod is installed so congratulations but we are going to check this so see ya in a bit in game so um, yeah we are not exactly in Soulstorm because I kind of forgot several things kind of big things but yeah um, first of all uh, we already had the objective points SS but I downloaded the latest version of it and you should install it like this um, in the last stages so this should be one of the last things you installed okay then I kind of forgot about the Soulstorm bug fix mod it's kind of required for the mod to run and you do the same thing, select where your main directory for Soulstorm is, like so. And um, yeah, next, stuck. And in the meantime, uh, I also wanted to touch on the point uh, on the subject of optional mods. So, uh, uh, as you might see, there comes a readme file with uh, the mod. And there you have an how to install and in this section there are some things you might want to know first of all objective point ss bug fix uh, black templar steel legion and inquisition demon hunts are required mods for the uh, stronghold mission mod to work right then uh, then we have several optional uh, optional mods. So the Tyranny, the, Maca the Dance Macabre, the Space Wolves, the Renegade Guard, the Salamander, the Demons, the Dark Angels, Rage, and the Thousand Suns, which is uh, private, are optional. So you don't exactly have to in have them installed. And if, uh, so once this is done, Okay, it's already installed. So if you would right now go and play Soulstorm, you will see that you will only have the Black Templars mod, the Steel Legion and Inquisition Demon Hunt. Due to the fact that you have to configure a file or click on a file. So in order to, uh, like once you installed uh, all the optional mods you want, in this video I installed all of them to make sure that there is no problem and you can do it. But you can choose which one you want. Let's say you don't want the demons mod, so you don't install it. So once you install everything you uh, need in your Dono of Soul Storm directory, then go to your Stronghold Mission SS folder. Click on it. And then you should find the configure mods bat file and toggle tyrannid UI. So toggle uh, tyrannid UI will change the UI uh, for uh, the tyrannid mod. So you'll have that uh, tyrannid mod UI where you have the hive mind. As you can see here, it's uh, also written over here. Uh, yes, you may then uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, yes, yes. Ooh. This will enable the Tyranid UI. If you subsequently wish to play as a race other than the Tyranids, run this file again to disable the Tyranid UI. So it's a bit of a like you must know before entering the game if you want the Tyranid uh, UI to be enabled or not. But uh, so, yeah, this is optional only if you want to play the Tyranids. If you don't, uh, you want to click on configure well anyways you'll have to click like click on configure mods and this will uh, find see how is uh, so where's uh, so see checking for requires mod mod found mod found so it will show you which mod has been found in your dawn of war soulstone folder so as you can see they uh, this program found everything like this command line and then it also found the chaos, dark angel, and whatever. So everything is uh, set, and just press any key. So basically, now, uh, if uh, let me just check to be sure, where is my 
module let's open it with no path so as you can see in optional mode yeah it will added all those lines like require mod six seven eight so all these things here weren't there okay so then i guess it's time to check out if it works in soulstorm so see ya in a bit storm with soulstorm stronghold mod activated 1.4.0 and if it doesn't start uh, for you this way, if it starts only for Dawn of War Soulstorm, just go to your game manager and select Soulstorm Stronghold. And also you will have all these new cool mods that you can play uh, separately. So yeah, it works and if you go into Army Painter, you can see like Chaos Demons, Harlequins, where are my Salamanders, Salamanders. So yeah, every um, thing is being, uh, like everything works. And Black Templars. And then of course you just go into Stronghold Missions and choose which uh, Stronghold Mission you want to play and have fun, I guess. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. And yeah, see ya in the next video.